What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige with Paige, and today we're going to be doing Seven on Sunday. Seven on Sunday is a Goodreads group created by Grace from Jay Swizzle and I'll leave a link to both Grace's channel and the Goodreads group in the description box below. So this week's topic is our favourite reimaginings and fuck this was hard. Um, I've got seven things that I want to talk to you about today. So starting with the two books I don't physically own, let's go with that. Um, the first is The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Butter. I remember reading this as a teenager and fucking loving it. I haven't read the second or the third, I only just realised that they're things, but oh, I just remember being absolutely mind blown by this and yeah, so I'm really interested in picking it up again, um, but I remember it was one of my favourite retellings, reimagining of the Alice in Wonderland because it was just so cool. <laughs> the other obviously is Learn My Lesson by Katie Robert. This is a Hades, um, Meg and Hercules trio and the legend of Hades, Hercules, Disney movies, whatever. It's a reimagining, okay? They did not do this in the Disney animated movie. Um, but yeah, I adore this series, I love these characters, and seeing them in a trio was really, really lovely. <laughs> also, Heidi Sass. Perfect. Then on to my physical things. So the first is Beastly by Alex Flynn. I know this will <laughs> divide a lot of people. Um, I know some of my friends absolutely hated it. I loved it when I read it. The movie still hits hard with me. I just, I don't know why, but there's been something about this that I just love. It's not great by any stretch of the imagination but it's one of my favorites in a way that I just got sucked up in this world and had an absolute blast. So the next is The Penelope by Margaret Atwood. This is the myth of Penelope and Odysseus and I read this for high school and remembered it recently and went and got my own copy because I adored it. I thought it was such a unique take on this myth and the way that Margaret Atwood writes um, the Hanging Maids, sorry, Ash is showering, and just this entire story was so brilliant. Next up we have Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Um, this was just marvellous, reimagining, retelling of Beauty and the Beast and Tangled, I suppose. Um, I, yeah, I think Beauty and the Beast is probably one of my favourites to retell, and I know it's so overdone, but there's just something about it having the evil person be the soft cinnamon roll inside and this girl coming to conquer all. So yeah, I really love this. Speaking of Beauty and the Beast, the next one is Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston. Are we surprised? Okay, let's just accept Paige loves any reimagining of fucking Beauty and the Beast. Cool, yep, excellent. Um, this is the third in the Once Upon a Con series and I just love these. I love every conceptualization. So there's Geekerella and Princess and the fangirl and I just, I love all of them. This I really related to Rosie. Oh look, Hammer Home, the Beauty and the Beast references. But I still adored it. I felt so connected to Rosie and it was absolutely lovely. And then the last is technically an author and that's Madeline Miller with Cersei and Song of Achilles, I think. Cersei is on my favourite shelf, but the more I think on it, the more I like Song of Achilles. Like, yes, give me some gay, we like that. Um, so, telling, retelling of Achilles and Patroclus's relationship, sending Cersei's backstory, feeling it out. We see her drift through many different stories and this is sort of her story. So, really great reimaginings of each of the components that they take from, and I think Madeline Miller's just a fantastic author. So, yeah. Excuse me while I go have an existential crisis that I don't think I've rated a book, uh, Beauty and the Beast retelling less than four stars. So, here are just some of my um, favourite reimaginings. We've learned something new about me today, and it's been glorious. Let me know what's your favourite retelling or reimagining or anything like that. I just, I think there's something really awesome about being able to take a well-loved story and put it, a spin on it. If you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you on my next video. Bye!